So a couple of years ago, when I started learning about investing, I started first on Stash Invest. And I started investing very, very little money, $5, $10. And I didn't know that much about investing. But one thing that I did know that if I didn't put all my money into one thing, there's a very, very little chance that I will lose all my money. Hello everyone, my name is Kasim. Welcome to the Million Dollar Challenge. In today's video, we are going to talk about stash invest and what i'm going to do is i'm going to break it down to you i'm going to show you all the numbers i'm going to show you everything because that's what i like to do on this channel you know i just don't like to tell people what to do i like to show people what i'm doing learn by watching and seeing what i'm doing so fast forward to now that i've learned a little bit more about investing i've studied more about investing i've learned more about investing in the stock market and in real life so i decide to move my investments especially on my retirement investments i'm gonna move it from stash invest and i'm moving it into m1 finance so without further ado let's go to the computer what i've decided to do is i decide to move my retirement account from my stash retire and i only have that account for one thing and it's to see how much small money can turn into very big money over time from stash i'm gonna move it to m1 finance because i'm trying to have everything in one place i like what m1 finance has to offer i would like to have more money more type of investments so we are going to talk about that m1 is a great tool so they have all the pillars that you need in order for you to house your paper assets like stocks and all these things they have a great tool for that just something like this so m1 finance has a great tool they have investments they have a way to borrow money borrow money on margin borrow money on personal loans savings checking account and they also have a credit card so they have all these pillars that they're trying to infuse into the m1 finance ecosystem so i've decided to move my stash invest to move it into m1 i want to show you guys my stash invest account because i only have it for one company <laughs> and the company is tesla when i started my financial investment journey started investing little money here and there so this is the stash invest account this is the retirement here and i have one thousand one hundred and forty two dollars i've had this for a while actually and it has made a gain of three hundred and sixty two dollars before i actually had most of my money in stash and then i started moving it into m1 finance over time which is right here but this account that i'm showing you guys right now this is my retirement account I also have my uh, main account right here. This is my M1 finance portfolio. And the main reason why I have this portfolio is because of one company, Tesla. So if we sc scroll over to position, you can see that I have made a gain of $172 in this investment. I invested $15 a long time ago. But yeah, let's talk about this specifically. I have my average purchase price was $15.19. And I have almost one share because we ha we've had a couple of uh, stock splits. 0.89 shares. So by the time I move that into M1, the shares will go up. It's 16% of this portfolio and I only invested $15. Now the current value is $180 seven dollars the percentage gain is up one thousand one hundred and forty seven percent now imagine if i had invested one hundred and fifteen thousand wow. dollars or i had invested 1.5 million dollars companies like tesla is a once in a generation company like it's like being around when ford started the ford motor company now we have a situation like that with tesla with this particular portfolio my tesla stock is actually down right now which is fine by me i have no problem when this stock goes down is down 22 percent if we take a look at the balance here the balance is 22,000. can you imagine when this portfolio gets to a point where it's up 1,100 
and 47 percent this portfolio right here this m1 portfolio of mine for my tesla stock this being up almost 1200 percentage the company is worth 570 billion right now this is just the beginning of an investment like this so i will be moving this investment onto the m1 platform and just have it in this section this is my retirement section on m1 finance and these are currently what i have in there this value here right here 187 dollars that's going to be moved well all of it will be moved all the money that i have in here which is like a thousand one hundred and forty one dollars this portfolio i've done very well the percentage gain has been very very nice it has gained 46 percent so i will move into m1 it will be much better being in this section instead of having two accounts i want to move all the accounts into one but in general the portfolio has you know increased almost 50 percent which is a good thing and if we scroll let's look we have tesla 16 percent apple is up a lot so this portfolio was what got me started with investing in the market okay i picked random companies because stash is really really good for extreme beginners clean and green you have the so you know if you're investing in this you're investing in clean energy company the next ones if you're investing in real estate you have the real estate tycoon johnson and johnson kind of dumb things down for people so i would also recommend stash invest uh, for new beginners it's been a really really good portfolio to have this is what got me started Let's bank of america long haul bond like inflation defense which is not defending anything right now you know so they just have this very easy way to explain what you're investing in and what you're doing so to round off here just stopping by and showing some few things you go through the process when you get to m1 finance you click on transfer accounts matter of fact let me show you that process to transfer one account into m1 finance you have to click right up here transfer an account and once you click it it gives you the option which type of account do you want to transfer then you can select you know this one then you click on next then when you click on next it will ask you which brokerage are you trying to transfer from Then you click on the one that you're transferring from mine is stash you click on it you enter the account number and you go to the next when you enter the account number and everything it shows you this page it shows that you're transferring from stash to m1 finance and you click on continue so when you click continue it will give you this option here tell you you know how long it has to transfer and all this good stuff once you hit done everything is done you're good to go and you are all set once you go through all the process you just have to wait seven business days on the highest to have everything transferred to m1 now i have always been preparing for this in any of my ira m1 videos i have this section here that is called stash invest ira so everything should move here and this balance should get close to two thousand dollars once that transfer now i've already looked at the ticker symbol for every single one of those companies already so most likely all of them would transfer in here you know it would just be as if nothing ever happened the balance just gets added to this and all the data just continues from there you know one less account that i need to talk about when i do my update right i just have everything in one nice account so that is pretty much it you know the process is very simple you know like stay positive and just continue investing investing don't have to be too expensive like you see with me with my tesla got started by investing 15 dollars and that 15 dollars alone has grown to a hundred and you know 187 dollars the potential in a stock like tesla for the long-term investor is ridiculously high if i add up my 
retirement and everything like that and um my brokerage i have almost like thirty thousand dollars invested in tesla now i would like to get up to at least one car invested up to tesla so maybe when i get to like 40 i have one tesla model 3 invested in the stock so i'm going to keep on going over time I, would, I should have five model 3 invested in the stock and that should secure the bag for the future yeah i hope you find this information somewhat positive i just wanted to show you that you don't have to be too worried about oh i don't have money to invest just start investing with what you have five dollars ten dollars fifteen dollars at least that has a chance to grow as compared to just living it in the bank that money you don't have any chance to grow things are gonna get better and you're gonna be all right so that is pretty much it for today's video thank you so much for watching i appreciate you until next time see you later love you all bye